Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Sun Talk Show. Today is two thousand twenty-one May fourteenth, and welcome. And we are going to do Xa TV. So today's、uh, random. Okay, if you have a questions, post in the type in the chat box and、uh, video check, audio check. That's good. And、uh, let's go. So we are going to do random. And first of all, I'm going to show you.、Uh, you know, so I'm going to basically do some of the things I do every day. Working on my website, and so you are going to show.、Uh, you are going to see me working on、uh, Emacs. Okay, on these all these links.、Uh, you, I'm gonna tell you what what I'm going to do. So there's going to be a lot Emacs.、Uh, so I'm going to do that for ten minutes or something. Then we can also talk about keyboards. You know, after ten minutes, there's there, there's gonna be more people typically. Then we're gonna talk about keyboards.、Uh, am I still alive? Yes. Then I'm, I'm then I'm going to talk about keyboards or、uh, Emacs or whatever random stuff, okay, or math or Mathematica. So if you have questions for me, type it. This is the right moment, okay.、Uh, the right day, okay. So let me show you what I、uh, do, okay. So typically this is almost like tip, my typical day. So I have this folder. You can see there is lots of、uh, photo、uh, screenshots, you know. Every two hours or three hours, I get up and walk to and fro、uh, for half an hour, or th- or you know, for half an hour every every two hours or three. And I take notes with my、uh, Surface tablet. Actually, let me show you. So I take notes with this Surface tablet, and.、Uh, You know, I take notes and walk back and forth, and、uh, then, so, and typically these notes are just reviewing of my website because I have six thousand pages, you know, written in the past twenty、uh, three years, and I take notes. And you are looking at. Let me show you some. For example,、uh, so what are these notes? So for example,、uh, let's show you. Okay, so. So this image from Twitter, for example, this I might want to put on my、uh, my blog because. Okay, actually, there's a lot of things I'm gonna show you and talk about. So, for example, I have a blog about technology, past and future, and I thought that screenshot would be interesting. You know, this this、uh, because this is the this is the hardware from SGI Silicon Graphics. Uh, I is for in- incorporated, right? Yeah, Silicon Graphics Incorporated.、Uh, in fact, you know, once I started talking, it's gonna be nonstop. SGI logo, okay. Silicon Graphics is one of the most famous、uh, tech company back in nineteen eighties and nineteen nineties. Is the the most well known, okay. So you can see, I have actually their headquarters is right here. You know, I can walk there thirty minutes. So I took a photo of the of it back in two thousand eleven. Today, this company is dead. Okay, they were they were very famous famous for their、uh, graphics, computer graphics、uh, technology. For example, Open GL is from them. You know, you must know Open GL or Web GL. That's from them, and of course, you need those for. Uh, in video video games, and of course Microsoft created their、uh, what's the name I I forgot. But anyway, SGI, okay, Silicon Graphics、uh, computer systems, okay, and and they're you know they are very famous, and、uh, you know so they are you know they also they they make what's so called workstations. Workstations is basically powerful machine. Of course, today's iPhone is more powerful than than their station twenty years ago.、Uh, but so and so they make they make computer software. They also make computer hardware. And、uh, you know back then this is from nineteen eighties to to nineteen nineties. They 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 are dead. Around two thousand eight or something, you know, they they shut down. They because、um, anyway. So so this photo from Twitter is uh, 
a photo of their machine, you know, silicon gra- their hardware. They make software. Their software is called Irix, I-R-I-X. It's one of the Unix, you know, back then, you know, today's Linux people, you may not know. So Unix, you know, before Linux, Lin- Linux came up around 1992, uh, but until, you know, begin 1992 or so, but not until 1997 or 1990, you know, in the late 1990s, 1999, it became starting to become popular. But before Linux, it's Unix. So you have, you have Berkeley BSD, you know, from Berkeley University, BSD Unix and uh, AT&T Unix, basically, then you have, then you have, uh, you know, you have quite a few basically from these two major branches. You have Silicon Graphics, IRIX, I-R-I-X. You have Apple, A-U slash X. <laughs> and that is from Apple Computer. That's right, Apple Computer, A-U slash X. You know, look it up. So IRIX, okay, so let me show you uh, uh, IRIX. Uh, Okay, I need to magnify my browser's window. So let's go to, uh, I'm using, by the way, by the way, I'm using Edge browser, Edge, you know, the Microsoft Edge browser, because today the Edge browser is actually more trustworthy than uh, Google Chrome. And so I started to use Edge browser uh, about uh, two weeks ago. And, and you go to, so Alt space and uh, settings. There's quite a lot settings, you know, but this is like back in the 2000s, uh, browsers is like it lets you control lots of things. So for now, I want to, oh, why is Zoom set to 90? So I want to, uh, you know, since I'm doing a live stream, I want a bigger font. So Microsoft Edge, it's great. Okay, so it turns out it's, it's great. And one of the great feature, you know, first of all, it has lots of settings, it let, lets nerds, you know, tech geekers like us to tweak lots of things. And one of the great feature is the vertical tabs. For example, I can switch my tabs, you know, you can see on the side left side, you have vertical tabs. So these are most most of them are my pages. Uh, most of them are about to do and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyway, so Microsoft Edge browser, it's great. Okay, it's uh, very great. It's very good. It's based on uh, it's uh, based on Chrome browsers engine, you know, the Bing. So let me uh, so back to the topic. Let me show you Irix. Okay, Irix Unix. Okay, let's see Wikipedia. So there it is. I uh, close that Irix. Okay, why is it so small? Irix Unix. Okay, it's uh, one of the Unix. Okay, they don't have big bigger pictures because back then the screen is very small compared to today. So then they, there is AUX. Okay, these are some of the Unix Unixes. Okay, they they A U X. Okay, they don't. Um, okay, they don't. Okay, I want to show Apple Unix. Okay, there it is. Okay, A slash U X. <laughs> it's not A U slash X. Okay, this is from Apple computer. I have not used A U X, but I have used Irix. So I have used Irix. And uh, then there's HPUX, that's uh, Unix from HP. Okay, so you can see, and actually I used one of these hardware, <laughs> you know, HP's hardware supercomputer back in 2020. <laughs> yes, 1999. Uh, so anyway, that's Unix, Unixes. So back to, yeah, let's get back to what I'm talking, uh, I was going to talk about. So there are some of Unixes. Uh, then IBM have, has IBM has AIX, okay? So copy, new page, paste, then you have AIX, that's Unix from IBM. And let's, ah, shit, I just closed it by mistake. Reopen. Uh, reopen, yeah, so, um, so, but let me show you Unix Pestilence, one of my page, okay? Unix is the worst technology, you know, in the computing industry. 
beginning with Unix, everything becomes crap. So if you ever wondered <laughs> why is the web technology also fucked up uh, and C language, that's because Unix. Okay, this is uh, Kassar's opinion. You don't hear that much because all those opinions are suppressed. Uh, because <laughs> yeah, I have hundred over a hundred articles on Unix. Uh, it's all on my website. So and this this page, for example, it's written in two thousand three. Back then, you don't have Wikipedia. Two thousand three. That's when Wikipedia began in two thousand three or two thousand. Uh, yeah, around two thousand three or two or four. Uh, but there's not much content. So you know, 2003 internet back then, you know, it's not like today. You don't, you rarely, most co most companies do not even have a website. Only a very handful of companies has a website, usually tech companies. So back then I was, you know, doing sysadmin, so I com compiled all the Unix resources. For example, sysadmin guide for HP UX, H HP Unix, and this is uh, HP Unix porting, uh, center, you know, all the Unix software ported to uh, HP Unix. So if you are a uh, sysadmin on uh, HP Unix, you can, you know, go to this website and download MySQL, Python. Uh, by the way, I did this screenshot in 2020, <laughs> kind of late. <laughs> Let's see if you, if they are still up. <laughs> they are. So, but back then, MySQL is not really that popular yet. You know, this you know, around year 2000, well, yeah, year 2000, MySQL began to become popular. Before MySQL, this, there, there was MSQL. In fact, you can find the O'Reilly book uh, of that. So HP UX, okay, HP Unix, then, 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 then the Linux come up, okay. Okay, so anyway, so I'm not, so then you have the BSD Demon, uh, which is a fantastic, uh, artwork, you know, I traced, you know, uh, anyway, BSD, and uh, then FreeBSD, then OpenBSD, then they split schism, you know, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's the nature of humanity, schism, and then you have Apple, it was rainbows, and then it's the, okay, so, yeah, and around 2002, Apple become a Unix called Mac OS X, <laughs> that's supposed to mean Mac OS X, but they picked X because to reflect the fact it's one of the Unix, because by tradition, uh, the Unix name, they ends with X, Unix operating systems. So, and you can see on this page, uh, back in 2000, uh, what date is this? Uh, back in 2002, Apple ran this ad in all over the place in Time Magazine and all that, you know. So it says, sends other Unix boxes to Dev Noor. <laughs> An ad from Apple back in 2002, because Apple began, you know, Apple transitioned to, uh, you know, the, uh, the Unix kernel, which is kind of, you know, kind of um, a bit, um, difficult to define because what is Unix? You know, Unix, there's a trademark mark owned by this company. Then they, they <laughs> it's a big drama, okay? What's the company's name? Does anyone know, remember? The Unix sued all the, all the Linux and all the Unixes because it was a trademark. Farsing for five dollars. Thank you, Farsing. So do uh, so. Farsing has a question. Do you have VirtualBox? It would be nice if you could do a review of LARPs and explain why you hate tidying Windows managers while using one. Okay, I don't have VirtualBox installed. And uh, LARPs, I can tell you, I can talk about that for an hour. <laughs> and but I never used it. You know, I I can tell you what, what I think of it for cer for a certainty. You know, you know. Let's not even VirtualBox. If I if I install Linux on my machine hardware, you know, n not emulation. You know, I get the. Uh, you know, I, maybe I should buy another machine and get money <laughs> to do my just to, just for doing my talk show. So I run the Linux box. And uh, I run labs. I can tell you my opinion of labs. Labs before and after is going to be same. <laughs> it's shit. It's the worst shit possible. But, but, 
but you are not sure because you know how do I how do I how do I know? Because I haven't used it. Well, I can you know, I well I I can tell you, but let me get back to that, okay? Because I'm gonna talk for ten hours just about that, and I'm gonna tell you the details. Uh, and at the end, you will be convinced of the fact, supposedly <laughs> that my opinion of LOPS before I used it or after I use it will be the same. Okay, <laughs> you will be convinced of that that fact after I talk, you know, about that topic. Uh, and La LOPS, uh, okay, so so Unix, okay, so okay, we are digressing and further and further away. I was going to show you. Um, I was going to show you my my normal day day daily activity, you know. So I walk around, I take screenshots, and I take notes. So I'm showing you some of the notes. I take this screenshot because this Indigo hardware is from S uh, SGI, you know, Silicon Graphics computer. Uh, and then you know, so I want, so I, you know, I you know, so I put this photo on my website, blog it, you know. So that's one of the things. So let me show you some of the others. Okay, uh, this is study of Wolfram language. Okay, uh, I, you know, you know, I haven't coded Wolfram language for about fifteen years, but I began to about two months ago. So I, you know, I walk and back and forth, and I read, you know, the documentation. One thousand, yeah, by now must be two thousand pages of documentation. So I take notes, and I tell you. I, I mean, I, this is note to myself. I write down, you know, which function is new. For example, three D, you know, solid geometry. So all these are functions that does geometry, that that are related to solid geometry. And I can tell you, you know, the point and line. Those are primitives. Uh, those are old primitives, and some of them. Anyway, so some of these functions are new. In what year? That's what I, you know, notes to myself. So for those new ones, I need to, you know, study and look into. So I'm just showing you some of the my random notes to myself. This is uh, screenshots, usually with my handwritten notes. So this is another uh, interesting thing from for keyboard because this is the smallest trackball uh, that's usable. So uh, from a Japanese guy, so I I'll blog it on my keyboard blog. Uh, okay, I I don't need to show my keyboard blog. I don't I don't think because uh, I talked about that so often. So so many interesting things. Okay, uh, you just search for Xadi keyboard, you you will find it. So let's go back. Let's go over this quickly. So uh, uh, another Wolfram language stuff. Okay, and this is a mathematician conjecture hypothesis, and he's on my channel sometimes. Are you here, Justin? So, uh, actually, I rambled all over the place. Uh, maybe I should begin to. Uh, how long have I be, been talking? I've been talking for eighteen minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> so, who? What are you guys saying, nerd? Nerds, view. Hello. What do you think about Dragonfly BSD? Okay, I can tell you right off that I, I've used BSD. Uh, which one? I don't remember. This is so. This is back in late nineteen nineties to year two thousand two. Okay, so I've used BSD. I don't remember exactly which branch was it. You know, so back then you don't even have Open BSD. You have. Uh, I forgot, but it's schisms, you know, the 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 nerds, the open source, you know, supposed to be to be the great spirit helping humanity, but they, when when you get rid of money, when you do not allow money to go around, which is basically what open source and free software foundation is. On the surface, they say free beer versus free speech. Oh, we are not about uh free beer. We are actually about free speech. <laughs> Something like that. You know, they, but actually if you remove if you don't if you if free software or the open source stuff if it's not free if it's not free, if it is not free, if you have to pay to get Linux or GIMP or whatever, then all the free software and open source will die overnight. They will disappear overnight. So this open source and free software fanatics, they live in a lie. You know, they lie to themselves. Oh, well, actually, uh, free software foundation. Actually, we can you know sell Linux. Uh, we can make money off it. <laughs> but actually, you cannot. So they lie. You know, they they 
uh, especially in particular Richard Stallman, they use the free, you know, free software foundation. And they, he's, he defend his use of the word free by saying that, oh, actually free, there's no good word in English to mean free because uh, in Latin there's libra, you know, blah, 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 blah. So therefore he used free software foundation. The free here means freedom, not, you know, not free of money, not, not you know, uh, you know, but actually, but in reality, in practice, the word free just means, you know, you don't have to pay, like free pizza, free beer, okay? So he is abusing, in a, in a sense, you know, he's Richard Stallman. He's kind of semi-intentionally abusing the word free to peddle his ideology. That's what happened. That's what it is. So that's, uh, and open source is basically the same, okay? Open source is uh, robbing Richard Stallman's ideal. You know, basically starting by the ESR guy, Eric S. Raymond, okay, and another guy, you know, but uh, but some of these guys becomes, uh, you know, back then they were all over the place, but these days, I mean, you know, come and go, people died, people died, you know, after 20 years, some of these people, you know, the leaders, founders of open source um, uh, organization, you know, any, anyway, so... So yeah, open source is uh, basically uh, rob Richard Stallman's ideal. So and it becomes everywhere and becomes now it becomes the evil empire. Google, Facebook, uh, Twitter, they are all open source. They are all poor open source. They, they contributed a ton. In fact, without Google, without Facebook, without uh, Google and Facebook, <laughs> and without Microsoft today, if you, if Microsoft, Google, and Facebook dies tomorrow. Let's say God says you should die. Yeah, they are gone. Open source will immediately collapse without these without these one one thousand lawyers, one one million patents, <laughs> commercial uh, companies. Okay, so the open source is a uh, open source and free software foundation. It you know it's a giant lie. And you guys, most of you guys, you know, live under this line because under this lie because you think, oh, it's great, uh, and uh, and that gave us today's, you know, the evil empire of Google censorship and all that, and Facebook, you know, you <laughs> you like Facebook, right? Do you? <laughs> uh, you know, I talked about this topic too many times, so let's not, um, ching, you know, let's not repeat that. Okay, so. So thank you, Fasting, for another five dollars. Um, you haven't grown a beard, yeah. Every time you know, let's look at mirror. Let's look at myself. You know, every time I have, you know, I'm about to shave. You know, basically every every three weeks I shave it off, uh, because I I don't think I look good with. I never tried, but in Chinese, you know, we don't have. We don't have the Western, you know, the <laughs> the uh, mutton chop. Was it called mutton chops or whatever? Uh, so Chinese, you so usually you might have a goatee, uh, but you know, like the <laughs> like the kung fu masters, but uh, or sensei, you know, the Japanese sensei. So, but but I don't, I don't think I like that. Gonna, so every every three weeks I shave it off. So, uh, so I rambled all over the place. So, um, okay. So, uh, the, the conversation always comes down to, uh, ranting against the open source and free software foundation lie and Google and Facebook, the evil empires, you know, you know, how could, how big is Google? You in, unimaginable, you know, it's the biggest, uh, organization in entire human history the with the greatest power you know they 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 have satellite they control all information uh, basically all information or of entire humanity on earth seven billions of people about to reach eight uh they can you know they have power they have rocket they have you know uh, uh, uh lots of things okay so anyway i i want to uh you know because i talk about the open source topic uh, hatred of them too much uh, in lots of my videos so let's so let's skip that i want to go back to um 
I want to start to do some of the coding things of my daily life. Daily life, okay. So this is a. Uh, so let's go back, okay. This is a mathematician, by the way. This is the Stephen Hawking. Uh, they he, you know, he was uh, you know they, he. He is uh, Stephen Hawking is advisor of. Of Justin, Justin is a friend in Canada. He sometimes shows up uh, in my YouTube YouTube channel, and he has some uh, congenital disease, some problems. So, so anyway, so he, he also became a mathematician. Uh, this Justin. So I, I so I take this screenshot because you can find it. You can find the full size uh, photo on my Discord. You know, lots of interesting people. So join Sadi Discord. Okay. Uh, so he posted photo of Steph, uh, Stephen Hawking uh, and himself. So I wanted to blog it, uh, you know, put on my website. So I never had a chance, you know, I never got to. So this is, you know, so this is uh, December 2019. And for some reason, Justin, Justin abandoned Xadi Discord. <laughs> He's got problems, Justin. Uh, but... Anyway, so my notes, going back to my notes, PNG optimization. So this is from Wikipedia. So apparently you have a PNG uh, new tool, new command, com command line tool to optimize, optimize PNG, supposedly better than, um, than you know, the Opti PNG, you know, the, the you know, the well-known tools. Uh. So anyway, so. I want to go, you know, lots of notes. I've been studying, also I've been studying PowerShell. You can go to search for my Xadi PowerShell tutorial. I've been uh, studying PowerShell. PowerShell is fantastic, a magnitude better than Bash or whatever the Unix shit bag. PowerShell, okay, and more powerful than, um, more powerful, simpler, more consistent, and, uh, uh, and, uh, extremely uh, better more better uh, documentation than the bash the unix tool bags the hack fuck that's what unix is everything in unix is just a it's a giant spaghetti ball of hack and bash is a bash and the unix tool shell tool bags is a very good representation of the <laughs> crap the worst crap nature of the unix philosophy so okay, so now we are back to some of these pages. Uh, I want to show you my workflow. Okay, so actually let's do a few minutes of this. Uh, so you can see these are my notes. These are pages of my articles, my blog. Uh, so this page, for example, is syntax. Is this syntax readable? Is it readable? So I I notes I write down move out because this is in a in another article that's. Uh, that shouldn't be there. So this this part should be a should be a independent article. You know, move it out. So that's why. I, right. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to show you the code. You know, how do I code this? And this one, for example, uh, JavaScript. You know, this is a list. I need to make it a, a definition list. Okay. Uh, okay. And and lots of uh, okay. So I have like uh, ten or so of these things. Uh, so I was going to do. So you can see right now in my sub programming blog, you can see a bunch of articles with the number there. So this this article, for example, concepts and confusions of prefix, infix, postfix, and Lisp notations. This article, there's a 16 over there. So why 16? That means in this article, let's go to it, there are 16 arrows. Uh, so so let me show you, okay? Go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down, go down. You see those arrow characters. There are sixteen arrow characters on this page. And uh, why do I, why why is that significant? Because I started to reformat my HTML list into a definition list, which looks better. I'll show you in a moment. Okay. So the first step is to search for all my pages of the 16,000 pages, find a count of all the arrows count. So because when arrow occurs, typically that means I have kind of a list that shows, you know, something, then explanation, you know, so, but in this page, in this case, it's not, you know, that's not it. But 
I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you in a, in a moment. So that is why. So that is why you see. You see these my notes. You know. Uh, you know. You see. This is a list. This 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 page is. You know. I I need to change to definition list. So I'm gonna show you. Okay. So actually, let me show you. Uh. So let me show you this one. Apple PC keyboard difference. Okay. Let me start to um. Okay. Open the file. Open the file, open in browser, magnify. So this page is about the difference between Apple and PC keyboards. Okay, so I go into detail what's the difference. The old key, you know, Apple Apple keyboard has command key and so on. So go down, so you can see. I am talking about Mac OS X default Emacs key binding. That's right. In Mac OS 10, if you open text editor, you know the, yeah, the default text editor. It supports the basic Emacs key bindings. So, for example, you can press Control F to move forward by, you know, you can move forward, you know. So, what I'm gonna do with this? So, default Emacs key binding. I need to change it. Okay. So let me show you. So go back to Emacs and show my. Uh, the pink window shows all my Emacs commands. So search for default Emacs. Okay. There it is on here. So. So this text block, copy it, paste it, and now call a command ul to dl. Kasa HTML ul to dl. Enter. So separator arrow, yes. Remove separator, yes. Bam. Now you see they become that. Okay. Now go back to browser. Let's refresh. Okay. Look at this part. Refresh. Magnify. So you see, before it looks like that, but now it looks better. So this is the HTML definition list. Okay. Uh, so what's the HTML definition list? You go to Xa code HTML tutorial. Definition list. So this page explains the full detail about what definition list is. Basically, it's like a dictionary. So when you when you have a list where each item is like a you know a term, then something a term or something, then you can use the definition list. D L D T D D. That's very useful. Instead of just an ordered list or an ordered list. So. So okay, so so back to the HTML. So I'm going to delete that, you know, and refresh. Okay, refresh. You you can see that uh, that is good. Now I need to capitalize the first word of each of the sentence because that looks better. So what I do, you go here, press one key. Now look at the pink window. Okay, boom, and you can see. M M M, you know the change part becomes screen. Now go back to browser, refresh. Fantastic and beautiful. And this all, all this due to the work in Emacs Lisp. So that command I just called is ksa upcase sentence. It will find the proper place to capitalize. And by the way, also I uh, okay so. So that is an example. Okay, so now if you go back to browser, magnify, go to the top. Okay, so anyway, ne never mind. So that's a change. So now let's go back to my picture collection, my screenshot collection. Now you see, this page is done. So I need to delete it. So I just press uh, forward delete key, delete it, done. Let me do another example, okay? Now, now I'll do this fast, okay? So this is track trackball exg, okay? So I know where that is. So go to Xali keyboard blog and open trackball exg, okay? This page and search for model number, okay? There it is. You can compare model numbers and difference, okay? So you can see it's right here. So do the same thing. Xa U L to D L call it. Okay, let me show you the pink pink window. So call it. Yes. Uh, separator is arrow. Yes. Remove separator. Yes. Okay. Now show in browser. Magnify. So that's this page. This page is about eloquent 
Elecom EXG trackball. Uh, let's shrink. Okay, so go down, uh, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. So there it is. That's the now again. I need to capitalize each uh, the first letter of the sentence. So in this block. So now I press a key. Bam. Back to browser. Refresh. Good. Okay, now go back to my screenshot. Now I can delete this one. Delete. So, okay, so that's my... So I think, you know, I have a lot more. So I have a lot more, but I think we, let's stop, you know, because let's, so there are so many uh, other interesting things to talk about. So let's, uh, you know, there are a lot more I need to uh, do. So, so now I'm going to look at comments and answer the questions not fully. <laughs> ching ching, another five dollars. <laughs> Farsing, thank you. Uh, then I'm gonna so so now I'm going to read the comments and uh, answer the questions. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, we we touched on already several topics. Okay, so let me drink my drink. Today's drink is brought to you by energy drink so how long have I been talking non-stop for 36 minutes the night is young so dragonfly BSD let me tell you about dragonfly BSD I know nothing about it, <laughs> but however, I do know around 2006 or so, the BSD schism split again. You know, you have net BSD, you have open BSD, you have free BSD. Yeah, free free BSD is the uh, earliest. Okay, free BSD and uh, uh, net and uh, and the net BSD was the earliest. So you have two. Then sometimes later you have open BSD because people don't agree. These nice open people, gentle, you know, <laughs> you know they, they they disagree. You are wrong. No, you are wrong. So split. Then sometimes around I think two thousand eight or something, dragonfly BSD. Uh, you know I I don't I you know I, so. So do I like BSD? I never used it much, you know. Back in the year 19, 19, 1999, I used it, you know, just a bit. But so why do I, you know, I know a lot of people, especially you guys, you know, they are into the kernels, you know. They, they, you know, we have a friend who, for some reason I don't know, a good friend who left our group. And his name, <laughs> you know, he left our group. He's, you know, he, he, he has his own group. You know, Linux and Texano Technology, what's his name? Uh, I forgot what's he, you know, there, there's a lot of shit posting, you know, there. <laughs> uh, so, but what's a place where it's more polite talk? Okay, Luis, yeah, Luis. I don't know. I don't, under, I don't know why he left my group. But anyway, so he he's a BSD expert, you know, he's a young guy and becoming, you know, so many people. So what I'm saying is that many people when it comes to Linux, you know, operating systems, they are very nerdy. You know, they, they are, you know, they study it. They study the source code and, and, and for many of them uh, and you guys, they make a distinction, distinction, which is better, you know, NetBSD or OpenBSD or Linux, you know, they... And also in our in our community, uh, Emily, which is the most technical and nice person in our group, Emily, I <laughs> I have a video ded dedicated to her. She has done great things. Let me let me let me mention. Okay, so you go to my Xali keyboard blog. Let me mention again. Uh, actually, I we I did a video that talks about her stuff exclusively. It's, uh, it's been a while. Last year, I think. So you go to fun, then you will see this happy hacking Emily Lisp server. You know, she's the one of the, she's the most technical person in our group, you know, in Xali Discord. She's always focused on tech, 
you know, maybe、uh, networking, you know, technical details about networking or the details about keyboard, keyboard switch, and also recently she she's been getting into、uh, let me show you some of that. Okay, let me go slowly. Uh, happy hacking keyboard and、uh, you know oscilloscope <laughs> and programming languages. She's she's into、uh, she codes Erlang. She also codes, you know. She also dug up Tekel. You know, she actually run Tekel, which is the father of Emacs. <laughs> she, she, you know, she dug it up. You know, she, you know, there are places you can you can run the emulator, and she actually tries it, and she take photo of the Tekel manual. Which, which, uh, she gave me, you know, I asked her permission to post on my website, so I have actually a photo of Tekel Manual, and she explained how it works, and she also get into the esoteric languages you never heard of, you know, like um, yeah, you know, I don't even, you know, she actually dug in. Not not just read about it. Oh, there's Tego. Oh, yeah, Tego is you know like dribbling, you know, a drama talking about uh, uh about it, but she actually. Dug out the manuals and read it and actually code it in an emulator. So Emily, that's our Emily. Okay, she's the most technical person、uh, in our group, and she's very focused. She never talk about politics or drama. <laughs> yeah, she never get involved in that. So she's fantastic. So she also、uh, invents her own writing system. She also created her own、uh, keyboard layout. Actually, yes. You know there are so many keyboard layout. Anyway, that's a whole topic. I talk,、uh, I talk too many times. So she, she, you know, she's、uh, fantastic. And recently, she's been, you know, so here's M M Script, her own writing system and <laughs> actual writing,、uh, handwriting of it.、Um, and she recently she got into a Steno machine. Okay, let me show you.、Uh, this is、uh, good to show. Typewriters. Okay, Steno machine. Uh, where is it? Miss Miss Miscellaneous Input. Okay. And、uh, okay, so I have a lot of her stuff. So here, so here is a display ink phone. So she got a phone. You know, she doesn't follow fashion and fads. In 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 fact, she told me she never uh she never read Hacker News. She never read Reddit. <laughs> She's also very young, okay. But unlike the most nerds who's you know, uh, you know, uh, wallow in hacker news or the Reddit in those kind of places, she, she like she doesn't know what those are. <laughs> she doesn't know what's a bug man. She doesn't know all the slants of the、uh, you know internet. But she dive into deep on technical things. Very, that's that's a good thing, okay. I, that's. That's a model. That's a behavior we should follow. I recommend. So anyway, she you know she bought display ink phone. She doesn't just oh、uh, Apple came out with a new phone. Let's you know we need to buy it. <laughs> we need to wait in line. She she does research and she bought this display ink phone. This this、uh, happened to be made in China.、Uh, and she you know here's、uh, her photo,、uh, and there's a big you know a high resolution, fantastic resolution photo of display ink. Phone, okay,、uh, and she also bought a Zoom. No, yeah, here, the you know the tablet, books, yeah, books you can buy on Amazon. If you like it, go buy on Amazon. Okay, <laughs> currently unavailable.、Uh, there must be a available version. So anyway, that's a e-paper, you know, display ink based technology、uh, tablet. Okay. She she also bought it and she showed the differences. So that's Emily, okay. And and okay. So let's go back to the topic I was going to say. So she also recently she's been, uh, diving into steno, steno type, uh, and she's telling you. So if you have a question about steno, ask her because she said so on Xali Discord. She you can or you can contact her and ask her. So she got into steno machines. This is her photo. This is her machine, and and she is tell telling us about how the different steno systems. Let me show you, okay. Uh, different steno systems, how they differ, and so on. So that's Emily. So di that's a lot of digression. And how did we get into that? I was going to oh, Dragon BSD. Okay, so BSD. So Emily is also BSD. Uh, 
fan. <laughs> okay, Emily is also a, a a very much BSD fan, and she has own. She had she built her own uh PC with AMD Ryzen uh. You know the 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 expensive one with ninety six threads or thirty six CPU or something like that that she built her own and running BSD and uh, yeah so Emily is into so Dragon BSD uh so back to my point so too many people nerds you know you guys um you know look into the operating system technology but to me I never you know like. To me, the you know, for example, in programming languages, I am never interested in low-level languages such as C or C plus plus. And today, the many a lot of you are into Rust because <laughs> it's low level. So, what does low level mean? It basically, you have to deal with you know, you have concepts like float, int, double, long, uh. Pointers or references or uh, garbage collection, you know, like you have to manage it, you know. <laughs> so, but to me, programming, I never, I'm never interested in those kind of things. I'm interested in high level kind of things. For example, Haskell, uh, Mathematica, you know, and the proof theory, computational proof systems. Uh, so, that's so, and that's not typical. And you know, I'm interested in math languages. If you watch lots of my video, you know, you will know I talked a lot about pro programming languages. For example, uh, I like GoLand very much. I know a lot of people, these nerds, this C, C, Unix, and Rust nerds, they don't, they usually <coughs> bad mouth GoLand. But to me, GoLand is the best language because it's a simple, it doesn't, you know. Hack. It doesn't let you do hack. You know, that's what Unix people like. Hack the fuck. That's what they do. So, programming languages. I'm into high level stuff. Math. Ad advanced math. Okay. I'm not interested in memory. Uh, memory. Fuck. Pointers. Fuck. Pointer arithmetics. Fuck. You know, int float. Fuck. Declaration of types. Fuck. Okay. And, and you, so then. For operating systems, basically the same. I'm use in uh, when it comes to operating systems. I'm interested in how do you use it to the user. You know, I'm interested in it in operating systems. To me, my opinion of it is usually about the user interface, about the API, about how well it is designed. How well can I use its shell? How how good is the shell designed? Okay, so to me, the BSD. The Linux, they are the same. To me, it's the same. You just start the shell. Except I don't like BSD because the BSD shell, you know, they run the C shell, C shell, or the 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 BSD version of the shell. Usually, and I I, I hate it. The GNU version on Linux, for example, on Linux, they you they typically by default you you run the GNU version of the Unix two bags. Uh, and that's usually better, okay? Be because for every option, you know, find, for example, Unix, find, grab, you know, find, grab, awk, uh, set, you know, the Unix baggage crap. You know, GNU, GNU back in 20, 30 years ago, they, they created their version. Usually, it's a better version. It's, a, you know, the free software version of the comparable Unix version because Unix was not free, you know. Unix was a proprietary AT and T and so and and so on. But the GNU version, not just you know, uh, a free software, free free you know, quote unquote free software, but it's also better designed because you have the better options. Uh, you have more powerful options. So so when 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 talking about operating systems, to me. I look at from the API point of view, just like how I look at programming languages. I don't care about the low level, how it's implemented or efficiency. Oh, of course, I care about efficiency, but not the the hack details. So to me, when I look at operating systems, I'm I'm just concerned about how well designed. How can I you know use it? 
And so mostly Linux and BSD to me is the same. <laughs> So sometimes I ask those, you know, BSD nerds, or you know, they they tell you different opinions. They, you know, they talk about, uh, they talk about page pages or the, you know, certain BSD features where it lets you have, you know, like sudo, you know, root and. Yeah, but I don't care about those features. So I care is that, and I don't even, you know, I don't. What I care is uh, is basically when it comes to Unix systems, Linux or BSD. I care about the shell. That's all I care. Shell, you know, what what shell are you using, and how good is it? How how well is it design designed? Other things I don't care, basically. So uh, so yeah, so so that's my question about the uh, BSD and stuff. You know, I, I I don't. It doesn't matter to me. Now about LAPS, okay. Uh, some of you may not know what is LAPS. LAPS is the created by this. Very famous guy, Luke Smith. Okay, Luke Smith. He's a YouTuber. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's Luke Smith. Okay. Let's let's go to one of his page because it will be fun. Let's go to. Uh, YouTube. Okay. So we need to. I guess we need to uh, turn on JavaScript. Otherwise, no candy. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Um, uh, YouTube, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Luke, you know these these are Luke Smith's videos. You, uh, okay, so first of all, he's a pretty boy. You know that's a significant reason he's popular. Okay, let me tell you, when you do public things like YouTube, you know being a YouTuber, okay, well, your looks is significant in uh uh in 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 a significant uh criteria. For becoming popular, okay, your how beautiful you look. Now Luke is a beautiful boy. Okay, by the way, I am not gay. Okay, if you are gay, that's fine. I'm not gay. Okay, so Luke, here is Luke Smith. You know he is famous for, you know he talk about you know like like me. He's basically uh, we are in the same category. We talk about technology and opinions. You know Linux, but. <laughs> He 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 is focused on the meme things, the millenn millennial generation idiocy. You know, each and every his his video is <laughs> plastered with this meme stuff. Oh my God, Jesus! Okay, so Luke Smith. So he has opinions about how to you know what what's the best editor, what's the best operating system, and so on. V Vim or uh, Emacs. He's <laughs> he's a Vim user, and you know, you know he has a lot a lot of opinions, just like me. Uh, and uh, you know, so one of the thing he created the the kind of a set of tools of installer. Okay. Let's find the page. There it is, GitHub. Okay, he one is GitHub page, one is his uh, homepage about it. So, so here's a GitHub. Luke's auto write bootstrapping scripts. L A R B S. <laughs> Let Xa analyze this thing. Okay. Now, first of all, it's the title. I mean that that's the name of the his project. Okay, L A R B S. Luke's auto rise bootstrapping scripts. <laughs> then you have this <laughs> iconography. You know you have this logo. Fucking fucking ugly. Fuck. Okay. Let me tell you. So what do I think of Labs? When I see a project with this logo, I will never use it. That's it. I I've already decided. I know what it's like. <laughs> What kind of creature on this earth? This, especially the millennial millennial generations, these millennial gen idiots, not including Luke. Okay, I, you know he's uh, he's certainly very smart. Okay, and capable, and uh, and of you know, technically technically speaking, he's uh, doing uh, far better than me, <laughs> because I suffer from hunger. I used to, not today, but. Uh, so he's a uh, uh, you know. So what I'm saying is that I'm not attacking Duke. You know, he's a great, a uh, very smart guy and uh, pretty successful YouTuber as well. But let me attack this <laughs> this 
this idea of you know the millennial generation crap and the Unix philosophy, you know these hacker nerds. Anyway, he he's not he, you know he so he's uh, younger, of course he's maybe maybe uh, ten or twenty years younger than me. A anyway, so let let me get to the point. Okay, so I'm saying back to labs. Okay. So first of all, you have this ugly, extremely ugly fuck, you know, who, who creates that? You know, back in the 1990s, nerds are not like this. This is a millennial generation thing, millennium. Millennium, which is a word I invented, millennium, okay, no space. <laughs> millennium, idiot. They created this kind of thing, they liked it. And, uh, okay, and, and, uh, and uh, then, then look at the title. Luke's auto rise bootstrapping scripts. <laughs> you have the you have the word auto rise. So what does the fuck does rise mean? <laughs> rise. That's right. Okay. Uh, you need to go to Urban Dictionary. Uh, there it is. Urban Dictionary. Rise. Let there be light. Rice, okay. It says race in race inspired cosmetic enhancements. <laughs> race inspired cosmetic enhancements. Parts put on cars to make them look fast when they have no internal tuning and are actually slow as hell. Okay, this is uh, not a good explanation. Idiotic. You know, that's a, again, that's a trademark of a millennial generation. Crap! Uh, including the Urban Dictionary. Fuck! Uh, idiot, idiocy. You know, these people just go there and type their, uh, type their, what they think about definitions. Okay. Okay. I believe here is the original meaning of rice. Okay. It's an etymology of the word rice as used by the millennial gen. You know, part one of the meaning. You know, rice, of course, it, it means what chi China man eats. That's what I eat. <laughs> but then, since the Malayan it has new meaning. Okay, so rice, an automobile that has been equipped with gaudy, unnecessary accessories such as three-inch high spoilers, loud and or repulsive paint job, and bodywork. Owners of such automobiles feel that these accessories make their car the best in the world when in fact it is not that's i believe that's what uh, you know the tech nerds rise came from it borrowed from this meaning and this meaning is from i'm not sure from where but i think it's from black community the the rappers you know i, I don't know because the rappers like <laughs> like those kind of things so that's a uh, so that's how you, you know, so you see me talk, that's how I view things. That's how I think about things. So I, so when I see rice, I think about etymology, okay, proper English. I think about Shakespeare. I'm not into the Malayan Jain memes crap, okay. So rice, the etymology of rice, I, you know, I can go, I, I, if I have time, I would go deeper. So what's the etymology, you know, find out trace origin of the etymology of rice from a linguistic point of view. Linguistic, you know, human history. Not the millennial generation, 4chan, this or that, or urban dictionary, fuck! Okay, rice. So that's, you know, stupid paint, paint jobs and stupid things on cars. That's original meaning. Then the new meaning is something about uh, race, race inspired cosmetic enhancements, okay? <laughs> so, <clears throat> So I, you know, the first I heard about the rice term is about keyboards, okay, from keyboards community, do it yourself. So let me show you another Xali keyboard, okay, uh, let me show you about this thing. By the way, am, am, I, am I still talking? I'm still talking and I'm still alive. And so I'm still ching ching fussing. So many, so many. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so people are still, uh, yeah. So a lot of people now comments. I uh, haven't had time to read them yet, but I've been talking nonstop, 15 viewers. So I've been talking for how long? One hour, okay. Let, let, me, let me continue, okay. So, so we are talking about rice. Let me, you know. 
Then we go back to labs. Then, then you know. So let me show you this thing. Okay, so uh, let's let's go to fun and uh, look at this girl. This the most beautiful girl and uh, one of the best thing that happened to my life. Okay, <laughs> ripster in real life. You know. If you don't know, Ripster is a famous guy in keyboard community. You know, in one of the earliest do it yourself. You know, even before do it yourself becomes a thing. You know, one of the earliest uh, um, uh, expert who study all aspects of computer keyboards uh, and collect them. Collect you know you know before today's become a fashion like on Reddit you know mechanical keyboard you know uh are you know sub Reddit sub 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 their ass these corporations. You know the proper word is room. Okay, so Reddit has a room for a mechanical keyboard, not sub Reddit fuck. And, and similarly on Discord we have different rooms, not channels. Okay, rooms. That's how I look at things. Okay. Uh, in contrast to the most uh, hacker types or the the new generation Malayan gen. Okay, so this girl is be beautiful actually. <laughs> I know her, and and uh, you know. Okay, so so she has you know she's also on Reddit, by the way, and she has articles about rice. Okay, <laughs> so that's why I, I mentioned it. She, you know, rice, rice, rice keyboard. You know. Uh, so that's about rice, you know, the terminology of rice. So let's go back. Uh, rice, so labs, okay. Luke's auto rice, auto rice. So I have to think about. <laughs> so basically, it just means automatically better, okay. Essentially, that's what, like, kind of what it means. Automatically super fantastic, beautiful, at least on the surface. Bootstrapping scripts. Okay, let's read, you know, so Alan, another illustrious member of our group, Alan, <laughs> but he's not too active. <laughs> he's building boxes and part, parts, <laughs> not too active today. Alan told me about Labs first, and and uh, also Alan told me about Luke's, but I, I know Luke's before, but Alan, you know, keep telling me about uh, Luke Smith. So laughs, okay, so let's see, let's read about it a little bit, and let me tell you what I, uh, why, what I think, okay, but let me, let's go back to, let's see, re, let's, let me check the comments quickly, because I do, wants to cover the few questions, then, 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 then that's it, that's it, oh, actually, shit, actually, I have to go in, in, in five minutes, actually, yes. So labs, okay. Let's talk about labs and what else. Uh, so virtual box, I might, I probably want going going to install it. Uh, yeah, on my you know on my gaming PC, uh, or possibly. Yeah, I probably gonna install virtual box. Okay, uh, okay. So. So let's see what's uh, other questions. Did you watch Israel Dove's? Uh, Yes, I have Israel Dov. Let me talk. Let me tell you about that guy. That guy is an idiot. Okay, <laughs> tell him to watch my video. Okay, he, he's. <laughs> I'm sorry, I disagree. You know, he is a friend. He is a friend. We or at least were friend. We we were friends. We were you know both Emacs users. We are on Twitter. We follow each other. We we were following each other. Okay, and. Uh, then there is um then then one day we stopped following each other you know uh, kind of little quarrels because uh because yeah you're a, a little bit to do with politics okay a little bit to do with politics so we are not so much of a friend anymore so I don't want to bad mouth about him, you know. When if he if someone is a friend, yeah, we can I can I can bad mouth about the guy. So, but no, we don't. We we don't talk, you know. We are not. We still okay. We still friends, but we stop, you know. 
uh, talking to each other much, but part, partly because politics, okay? And, but, you know, he... <laughs> so, did I watch his, uh, you know, Israel Dove's response to your magic criticism, you know? I I don't even remember I watched it I must have okay but the thing you know I can tell you what happens just just like my opinion about Lobs even without using it because I know I know the guy very well you know he, he is he is uh, you know first of all he's a uh, he's kind of a nerd and hacker types okay yeah we are all Emacs users okay and uh, you know, let's not talk about politics. Let's just uh, let's just talk about our opinions about uh, Unix and you know Emacs stuff. So you know, so one thing. So so here is my criticism of his his thinking. Basically, he he's the one. He is kind of the in the Unix philosophy type of people. Okay, idiot, extreme idiot to the extreme, incorrigible. You know, those people, they, when it comes to technology, Unix and, you know, Unix philosophy, uh, they, they are incorrigible. Doesn't matter what, they, you, what you say. Just like religious people. You know, some people believe in Christianity. You know, I'm not going to go too much about po political things or religion. But, but you do know that some people are deeply into religion. And when you argue, when you talk about, with them about God or something, it's impossible to, uh, talk logically. So, when it comes to uh, Unix things, you know, technology, it's impossible to talk to the uh, to <laughs> because I have twenty years arguing with these Unix philosophy idiots, extreme I idiots. Let me t let me tell you about one incident. So I did a video talking about the truncation of lines by the Unix fuckheads. Okay, if you don't know. Unix, Unix operating system, they have the philosophical idea, I, idea of everything is based on lines, uh, ASCII, you know, file, stream, pipe, you know, what, whatever, the, the, the you know, file system, the, you know, the file hierarchy, you know, it's all, it's all, uh, and, and also, uh, what's the uh, socket, you know, it's all, uh, socket pipe, you, you know, it's all basically based on uh, uh, text files, you know. So they, Unix, one of the Unix kind of designs, everything is based on text files. Okay, that's my alarm clock, I have to go. Let me turn it off. So I have to go in five minutes. Okay, so, you know, and I have a lot of articles, let me show you, okay. Uh, okay, let me show just show you some of the articles. Unix philosophy, the idiot. The, the first item is Wikipedia. Fuck, you know that's a that's kind of a lie. It's like a code. Uh, you know, but if you are into it, you you wouldn't you you don't know. You know, I I I I I did too many videos about it. Okay. Um, So what is the proper word to find my article without typing my name, Xali? So I'm thinking I want to find a way to find my, to search, to, to use search engine to find my article, but without typing my name. Uh, the nature of Unix philosophy. Okay, type that. <laughs> <laughs> the nature of Unix philosophy. There you, you go. So, Unix philosophy is uh uh it's 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 um. Uh, how do you say? How do you say? It's a it's a it doesn't it's a lie. Okay, it's a it's a meaningless crap. Okay. So, anyway, I want to show you some of the other articles. So let's just open them all. Okay, because I have uh, one thousand more than one thousand essays about Unix philosophy, all things related to Unix philosophy. So this article, uh, back to Unix pestilence, which I showed this before. So this article is on the Unix file system's case sensitivity. That's another huge topic 
uh, uh, back then, 20 years ago, for or throughout 1990s, uh, Unix idiocy. Uh, okay, here I found my article. So here is a collection of about 10 or 20 of them about Unix, okay? On Unix file name character problem, okay? The Unix idiocy, extreme fuck! You know, everything that's wrong in computer uh, software industry, uh, I would claim, began with the Unix crap, Unix and C language. They go hand in hand. Unix and C, they bootstrap each other. <laughs> So let me tell you, okay, so uh, yeah, so I was talking about, uh, there it is, okay. Unix RFC line truncation, this is one of the most idiocy uh, cre created by Unix and lingering uh, even today. It's, uh, you know, Unix philosophy, the, the thing Unix and C has a massive uh, 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 damage to the computing industry, even until today. Why? Because... When you when you type something, you know when when you are in your editor, you know for example in Git commit messages, usually people say they say you you need to truncate your lines. For example, for example, so uh, for example, let me show you this one. Okay, here is a long sentence, you know, but if it's code or whatever, people say that you the, the idiots, you know, the hackers or the you know they they have the idiom or style guy. They say oh you, you cannot do that. You 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 need to cut. You know, you need to truncate it like that, okay? So and each line must be less than 80 characters or 70 characters, okay? You still have that convention all over the place on Git, on Git messages, on, on Magit, of the Emacs, you know, everywhere. Where does that truncate 80 characters line came from? That came from the fucking punch cards, you know, from 19, 1970s. Punch cards, you have 80 holes. The fucking idiocy of this idiotic idiotic fox and uh, and unix the operating system unix used to truncate all your lines because for example uh, let, let's let's go to shell okay okay i am not on unix so i don't have the uh ps okay so you can see here's a powershell okay <laughs> uh, powershell ps is the you know show processes you can do on linux you know just type ps and and on linux you type P S A U W W X. Okay, that shows you uh, doesn't work on uh, PowerShell because the options are different. So, so uh, so P S. You know, uh, list processes. You know, but sometimes when you start a process, it's a long line, so it's more than eighty characters. On Unix, you're just silently truncated. So if you want to find if you have a process of let's say Apache running, so you know you type ps let's let's magnify okay I cannot magnify here, yeah I can but it's too much trouble so let, let me just let me just show you on Emacs okay. So I need to go so in five minutes uh, so let's say you know on on Linux you type this okay a u w w x and uh, uh, and some, and you grab Apache or grab something, okay? Because you want to find the process, the 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 process ID for some uh, command you ran, okay? That contains the word Apache or whatever, uh, you know. Sometimes it's a shell script, and sometimes it's nest. The shell script is in deep nested directories, so the full or the command line, you lots of options. It's more than eighty characters, okay? And when you do this on Unix, in a, even up to year two thousand two. The Unix operating system will silently truncate <laughs> all the lines that's more than 80 characters. So what the fuck? So when you do this, you, you're trying to find the process you run, you know, that contains some 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 word here, okay? Uh, some word, okay? So let's say XYZ. So you know for sure because you just started a process that contains the word XYZ in it. But you run this, nothing shows up because... It so happens that what X Y Z is beyond eighty characters, and and, and Unix the P S and auto tr silently truncated, so <laughs> so it doesn't show. It's a fucking Unix fuck. That's how Unix is. So truncate lines and in email, you know e email. So let me go back to show you my articles. So email the Unix, um, the fucking crime. E Unix is a crime. You know, uh, you Unix. You know the email, the 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 how they call it. You know, it's long time ago. I don't uh, forgot. I don't remember the names. You know the email protocols and all that. Inbox, okay, inbox. 
uh, you know, they email. So, so Unix, they, they have an RFC tells everyone that when you have an email, and, you know, you, you need to truncate your line here. Okay, so where is it? Unix is plain, uh, plain text email fetish. Okay, where is it? Uh, IFC line truncation, okay, uh, IFC, IFC 2822, okay. U the Unix tradition requires that the return be inserted at every 78 characters in email messages. Unix uh, made this as a recommendation into IFC. What does IFC stand for? Really fucking common, okay. <laughs> so Unix, because the operating system, system is too idiotic, to, it cannot, in, it's incapable of handling long lines. So they truncate it silently, and they force this into every other every other um, operating system. They tell them, "Oh, look at IFC, the standard. You should truncate your lines." A fucking Unix, fuck. That's what happens. So I actually did a video on this already. Uh, this is probably one hour, okay? One hour and ninety minutes, okay? Ninety minutes. Let's let's you know the you know two thousand nineteen, May third. Unix philosophy, truncate lines, closure, concurrency, AI, consciousness. Okay, that's uh, uh, two years ago, 2019. So I did this video and uh, back to the Israel Dove guy. And he, you know, he, he watched, you know, he watched it. <laughs> and he says, you are all wrong. Oh, my God, Kasali is wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, okay. So, so what's your reason? Can you can you tell me? Uh, you know what's your reason? Wh which part I was wrong? Then he his response is like I incredible idiocy because just like the way I have argued with the Unix people for twenty years, you know they call me a troll. I look at his reason. His reason is no reason. I, like did, like I did, I did ninety minutes video explaining the whole thing about Unix truncating lines, and he don't like it flew by his head. He, he, he didn't get it. He, all he sees, oh, what is Kasa talking about? That's heresy. <laughs> Unix is the best operating system. Like he, he has no reason. Uh, that's, that's so. That's uh, that's that's yeah. That's what I have to say about that guy. You know, yeah. <laughs> we are still. I guess we are still uh, on good terms. I well, I don't know. Maybe he 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 watched this episode and he he oh <laughs> I don't I don't know. So that's my uh. And yeah, so that's my that's what I that, that's you know he's a Unix guy. In, uh, incorrigible. It's you know, he's been too far into it. Cannot be helped. Doesn't matter how uh, you know how into what length you explain things. Okay, I don't have time to read all the comments. Uh, so one more. So this Fazin Ching. Thank you, uh, Fazin, and that's it. Oh, uh, George Ching, stop ranting. You are late. <laughs> secretly yeah so the thing um yeah actually i gotta go yeah okay so good it's um the neo language okay so yeah i'm gonna go uh, shut down in one minute okay ah <sighs> wow uh, wow today turns turned out into another to be another giant unix rant at least half of it so i've been talking for how long um uh, one hour and 20 minutes okay you know the Unix incredible harm. You know that's that's perpetual. So so I have over one hundred essays, uh, about all the details of Unix. Okay, and uh, for example, and here is one Rob Pike. What Rob Pike is one of the big Unix leader. Okay, on the origin of the Unix start file names. You know you, you, the Unix have you know like U C D. Yeah, like uh, CD to a directory, CD dot, okay, <laughs> CD dot dot. You know, let's let's uh, let's go to first of all, CD dot Kasali info, okay. Uh, what? Okay, uh, CD web Kasali dot info. Uh, let's go comp, okay. Uh, not uh, underscore info. Okay, so I'm using PowerShell by the way, and you can do ls, or you can do the, or you can use the full name, 
get uh, get child items. PowerShell is the greatest, you know, hunt a magnitude better than fucking bash. <sighs> okay, so 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 what I'm what's my point? So yeah, I'm talking about the Unix. You know, you have uh, how you have the. Let me show you. Okay, CD dot dot. Uh, that that means one directory up. That's a Unix convention. Of course, now it's so it's so popular. It's you know it it, it it's adopted by PowerShell as well. So that's my point. You see, Unix and C they are a crime. You know, they are their harm is not just temporary. It's not just oh uh they designed that way. But okay, you have your opinions. They have their opinions. Maybe it's good. Maybe you are wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm you know you are right. Uh, and you know that that's that's it for for that. But it's not like that. Unix is a cult, okay? That's why it's a, they have the Unix philosophy, meaning meaningless fuck. You know, they they bred they they, they bred this cult. So that's what that's why I say they have a perpetual harm. You know, ever you know lasting everlasting throughout computing industry. So we talked about the line truncation. Uh, even today, you know, you can you 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 go read style guides, you know, of different languages, uh, you know, Ruby, Ruby or Git commit messages or different languages. You and even in Lisp, they tell you if you don't truncate, you know, you, if you have a long line, they say, oh, you cannot do that. Stupid, you know, and they, you know they don't understand. You know, they, they these people they don't they don't understand. You know, like. Uh, anyway, I gotta go. So so and. And 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 this you know the PowerShell also adopted you know these two dot anyway so then you have the dot dot something file name config files you know dot emacs uh you know that's idiotic uh and and and, and many okay uh so I have one hundred articles on that this Unix code uh very harmful thank you guys thank you Fazin thank you thank you George uh that's it bye. Uh, so where I got